this is probably oh oh I got life there a little bit of sunshine look okay I can drive now <laughs> okay so I gotta get new brake pads did you hear that squeak I know hey guys welcome to Appalachia's homestead I've been gone a minute where you been what have you been doing I know one thing you're over the sham aren't you give me a fist bump y'all <laughs> so yesterday I decided to do my daily walk and uh, I, I, I got all the way up yonder and I heard this and I, so there was something in the woods you know I thought it might be a deer we have an overabundance of deer beautiful deer right now and uh, I looked over and it was one of them trifling turkeys Alice and Phyllis and they like to f jump out and they like to come over in these woods. They're chasing them cowboy turkeys. I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. They're loosey goosey. Hey, where, why are you in the mud? Where's your sister? Where's your sister? Where's a No. Okay. Yeah. Where's Phyllis? Phyllis is always the one that goes off and runs off with all them cowboys. Honey, honey, hi, honey. There's my cowboy. He just smooches. Girl, where are... oh, where's me out? You like my new hat? I love it. Follower sent that to me. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it. You know what I like best about this hat? Now, I want you to look closely. It actually kind of tries to pin my ears back and down. You know how some women went and had their ears pinned back? <laughs> Honey, there, there's no chance of that ever being successful with me. Look, I, you don't, I don't even look like the same person. What are we going to do about that? <laughs> so it's been a busy, busy couple of days. And sometimes you just have to say, hey, i got to put the camera down and I've got to work. And we've had family stuff going on. And I know I owe you that video on that chocolate cake. Did I tell you about that chocolate cake? Or was that just on Facebook? Honey, I got a chocolate cake coming up for you that's just going to make... Your tongue's going to slap the, your brains right out of your head. Might even slap your girlfriends. I don't know, but I'm just saying that's coming up. And uh, I'm going to be candling some eggs. I have a turkey egg. It's got a baby in it. Yes, first time we've had that success. There were actually two, but one didn't make it. So I've got one little lonely turkey. One little baby. I think it's on day 12. And uh, then I've got... A broody mama. I'm going to do a video on candling those eggs. And then I have other eggs that I've put in the incubator. We're just making babies. <laughs> well, turkey babies and chicky babies. <laughs> I'm too old for all that other stuff. <laughs> but we're also expanding the farm. We actually are working with a gentleman who's coming in to help us with fencing. He did our last paddock and he did it right he did it good and he's going to be coming in he's already been here twice so we're trying to get all those materials in it's very difficult to get materials <laughs> you already know that i mean you've lived the last two years since so you know what's going on very difficult to get certain things in some things have gotten easier some things haven't and uh so we're finally moving on that i have not gotten my quail uh house it says it shipped but it hasn't shown up yet <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? But we have gotten in new nesting boxes. So we then we have a lot of things going on. Spring is kind of showing itself. We've had some birthdays. It's just been a very busy week. So, you know, I kind of wanted to bounce back in. And I said this, I would, after Valentine's Day, I would jump back into a bunch of videos because there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to share, a lot to show. A lot of you have questions about things and whatnot. So, but listen, the sham's up. Okay. I put this on my media yesterday, and, uh, ooh, I got one old girl. You know, I, there's some people, I don't think they did well in reading comprehension. I mean, you can clearly read what I said, and you know what I'm talking about, and you know exactly what I mean, but you want to argue your own narrative, but bless their hearts, y'all. But, you know, it doesn't deny the fact that the gig is up. So, let me explain something to you. I don't know if you've ever thought about it in this way, but 
You are like a fine diamond, darling. Not completely flawless. None of us are. But you are like a diamond. And how do I know this? Well, it's very simple. See, diamonds are known to be the hardest material on the planet. You know, we all talk and brag about how it's just like, like a fine diamond and so resistant and can weather everything. That's actually not true. Diamonds are basically scratch resistant, meaning you're not going to scratch it meaning on the surface, you can't really flaw it in that, in that realm. In fact, it is used against other materials, things that are softer. But because you are like a diamond and most diamonds have flaws, it's just who we are, people, you're human. And when you push a diamond just right, and when you hit a diamond just right, and you just happen to hit a flaw, and you just happen to hit it on that plane, that right, just that right moment, that diamond can fracture. The diamond can, in, your, in layman's terms, can break. Now what that means is, is I want you to know how special you are, and I want you to know how important your family and your culture and your heritage is. Everybody has a story, your children, are gonna have a major story to tell by the way that you live today. It's true. It's why you're here. It's what happened to you. You're proof in the pudding of somebody else's fractures. The story though is going to end and the story will be told by what decision you make in terms of how you deal with that. I think we've been fractured. I think we have been completely slammed in many, many different ways the last two years of our lives. Now we can argue and talk about how this has always happened. We can argue and talk about history. We can argue and talk about how this has been going on, this and that or the other has been going on since, you know, the 1920s, the 1950s, since 9-11. I'm making a simple point here, people. The point is, is trying to use my words right, correctly, because some people just don't get it. People are waking up, they've been fractured, and they're not gonna take it anymore. You know, I've made a video last week about moving on. I'm moving on. I'm not gonna be pushed on like this anymore. There's things that we can't control per se, but there are a lot of things that we are figuring out, that we are now saying, I thought that, I assumed that, I worried about that, you know, I, and here it is blatantly in front of your face. Now, what I was talking about in terms of yesterday, let me explain something to you. You're looking at a woman that completely went through COVID. You're talking about a woman that got very, I did get very sick, and I will be honest, and my husband will tell you too, you know, I, there was a day or two that I really feared that my husband may end up on event he could have ended up six feet under so i have a very soft spot against this i know there are folks that say this existed this don't this that or the other i'm not a, i totally believe that we have endured something horrific and still are in many ways but i think that the way that it's been handled and the way that it has been used to strip people of their rights is wrong had this all been handled the appropriate way, and we can argue about that too, I guess, I don't think you would have seen the escalation of so many problems that you see today. And so that leads to so many people now to going, why? That, that wasn't natural, or why? Why wasn't this done? Or why? Why is this being withheld? Why is this decision being made? Why are these things? Okay, now we have this distraction over here. Oh, wait a minute. What's going down here? What's going on over there? Oh, everywhere you go, everything that happens is a distraction now. It's because the gig is up. You know, I think I would have a different attitude towards a lot of things 
if there was consistency across the board with, you know, people in politics, people in Hollywood, you know, people in forms of even local leadership that, you know, what, what is the saying rules for thee, but not for me, however you want to say that, you know, I think if a lot of us had seen more consistency and I think that if a lot of us had seen just a shred of trying to help people, I think the attitude would be different. So I know I'm going to get total pushback from some individuals on here because see, and, and they want to come in and they want to throw in the discussion or the, the rhetoric of pushing back on politicians that aren't even in, folks, they're not even making decisions for you anymore and you still want to hang on to them. I guess you fear they're going to come back. I don't know, but my, my thing is, is why don't you have a beef, why don't you have beef with the people that are literally standing on you right now, okay, you know, that are literally, literally making incredible decisions that are affecting the way that you can afford to eat, how much, gas, I mean, do you want to, four dollars a gallon for gas? We're inching towards that now. I mean, you guys up out west and maybe some of you folks up north, maybe you're paying some of that already. I think you are. We're not yet, but we're going that route. What's it going to take? I mean, does this feel right to you? Do all of these decisions feel right to you? At what point do you say, you? why are we allowing a handful of individuals make all of these decisions? And not only that, but they're not, they didn't work. They don't work. <laughs> they don't work. It's not working. Why aren't we trying a different route? Why aren't we trying to get back to normal? Why aren't we encouraging people to work? Why aren't we worried about our border as opposed to somebody else's? People are figuring this out. It's been a slow two-year process. The people that you never gave credit to in, in figuring all of these things out and having the guts to speak up about it, they're doing so. We're never going to go back to normal. Folks, I don't even know what normal was or is or how would we would even compare lives anymore. It's a whole different world. It's a closing of a chapter and an opening of another one. Can't we try to work together and make it good for our kids? I mean... I miss so many simple things and I don't, I didn't understand why for a while, you know, you know, the whole, we all joke about drinking out of a water hose, you know, being able to trick or treat without, you know, feeling like somebody was going to ab abduct you, uh, you know, watching old black and white TV shows. It was because we, whether in, if we truly had freedom that we thought we had, whether that really existed or not. We could get up and go to the store and just not feel all this pressure. And that's not always been perfect. I get it. I was a baby in the 70s, so I know you folks are like, well, you must have not lived during the Carter days. Well, I did, but I was a kid. But I know what my parents endured. You do too. I just think that we can do better. And I think that we are the ones that are going to be making the decisions to make that happen. Don't you think? Okay, we're done. You we're done. <laughs> Girlfriend. So where does all this lead y'all? Where does it go? It's going to go where you want it to. Stop letting fear and stop letting things and stop letting all these other demonic forces that we are enduring make you think that you're not the one navigating this ship. We are navigating this ship by what we allow. We have allowed them to attempt to scratch us. You're still here. And when the fracture comes from you, you're going to say no more. It's just a matter of time in terms of when is that going to happen to you. You have endured so much, but every diamond has its fracture point. And a lot of people are fractured right now. And so you're seeing all this wake up happening. 
Are you feeling it? You have to feel it. I know a lot of you for several months and I have to tell you that when I would see some comments of it's the great awakening, I believed you, but I wasn't there myself completely. I knew it would come, but I didn't know when. But see, my journey is different than your journey. God has us all on a different journey. And so we're all going to endure different things at different times. And every one of us is going to go through what I've just talked to you about. There is nothing that you're going to do, in my personal opinion, to prevent from going through what we are talking about. But it's really not even about that so much. You are a different person after because you're so mentally scared of the potentials. Some people will say they didn't fear that at all. That's good. I, I don't want you to. But I think there's a human part of us that has a lot of fear. And so for me to say, don't fear, don't fear, is kind of cheap because I'm human too. I fear too. But I'm telling you, you deserve the opportunity to come out to the other side and stand up and look at it and say, I beat it. And no, I'm not surrendering my soul. And no, I'm not surrendering my mind. And no, I'm not surrendering my kids. And I'm not surrendering my opportunity to make decisions that serve me. And so therefore, people are realizing what everything is. It's just going to be what they decide to do about it. Maybe all of this is a callback of ways for God to get all of us back to what we need to be getting back to. Serving Him, serving each other, getting along, being more self-reliant. I really want you, I'm really serious, I want you to take your pantry it's top priority. Here we are in mid-February. Spring, in some ways here, is kind of trying to say hello to everybody. It teases us for a couple months. But it gives us an opportunity to get outside, you know, sunny and 60, and work for a couple of days to prepare for planting season, for summer, and for a great harvest. It's never perfect. Don't ever expect that. No blogger or YouTuber is living a perfect self-reliant life. No matter how they dress it up with drones and conversations with you, it, it does, that's not real. What you see are people that should be doing their best. And that's all we can do. But your survival and your legacy is gonna come from you saying, okay, this is what I've been through. The gig's up. Now what am I gonna do about it? You have an opportunity to write, right now. You have been given an opportunity. If you're watching this video, if you are breathing today, you've been given another day, more grace to say, yeah, I'm fractured, I'm flawed. So what? I'm still strong and I'm gonna do what's right. And I'm gonna do what's right by me and for my family and what my ancestors and what God expects of me. We're gonna make that change today. This lifestyle changes today. And when you get a taste of that freedom, it's not like anything you've ever experienced before. When you can harvest your own food as much as you can, how dare somebody try to come in and say, you can't do that. When you have an opportunity to homeschool your children and you taste that freedom of being able to help choose what's best for your child, you're not gonna let somebody come in and tell you differently. Be willing to wake up and be willing to embrace that you are that diamond and that you are going to love that fracture. And then you're gonna stand against what keeps pushing on you. I believe in you, I believe in me, and I believe in us. And I believe I better get my hind end in the car <laughs> because I'm going to meet with a historian today working on some genealogy for a few hours. And we've got videos coming your way. I promise you, I do. Sometimes, like I said, you just have to put things down and deal with life, deal with family, deal with friends, deal with your pantry, deal with birthdays and enjoy life again. You don't have to ask permission for that. Don't ever believe that you do. Because see, that was part of the sham too, that you have to ask permission. I'm telling you, you don't. You know what? I don't even have to tell you because you figured it out.
because the gig is up. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.